guys, Abby here, xosailormars.tumblr.com. Um, a couple of my followers the other day asked me to make a Usagi hair tutorial from Sailor Moon because I don't use extensions in mine and I also don't have a, I have a lot of hair but I don't have like a crazy amount of hair like some of the girls I've seen on YouTube do. I just use all my hair for my head so um, I decided to make a tu tutorial for you guys of how to do it. Um, I did watch a lot of the tutorials on YouTube to see if there were any quite like mine and none of them were and I found that some of them were kind of hard to follow so I hope you guys appreciate my attempts at how to teach you how, how to do this hair because it's great for Halloween or cosplays or you know maybe you just are sitting in your house and you just want to hang out with your hair like Sailor Moon's because I actually do all the time and I don't care and it really doesn't depend this is really not that hard it's better if you have medium hair or longer hair rather than short hair just because it's hard to make the buns if you have short hair but I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out depending on your hair so I wish you the best of luck in your hair and I hope you guys don't mind my video because I kind of have an awful voice for videos so enjoy it I hope okay so the first step in Usagi making hair is probably one of the more important steps I would think for anybody with wavy hair or curly hair or whatnot is probably to straighten your hair because it's just easier to work with if you're making buns and whatnot if it's straight rather than curly or wavy. Myself, my hair is generally straight to begin with, but I straighten it anyway just because. The second step is to decide how your bangs are going to go because uh, Uzagi has bangs that are parted down the middle and they kind of curl in around her face, uh, but some of us that would just look weird on, like I know myself, I have a large forehead and so side bangs are better, so I'm just going to leave mine like this, but you're free to do them however you want. The next step would probably be to part your hair behind your bangs, obviously, because you're just leaving your bangs the way they are, down the middle. Uh, you, if you want to be super precise, you can use the tail of a comb or whatever, but I just guess and grab it. So you have an even amount of hair on each side, like, like you were going to put it in pigtails or something. Step three, oh, I guess we're on step four now, actually, would be, I call it the tail of the bun, the part that hangs out of her little Odongo thing. So you got to take it from the top where your hair is parted and just make sure that you leave enough hair to make an adequate sized uh, bun. So usually I make the tail of mine around this big I would say because then it leaves all this hair for me to make the bun with but then this is a standard size. See my hair isn't super long, it's decently long so I don't have a hard time with this. But this next step is probably the hardest step in this whole thing so good luck with it. Um, you have to kind of Separate the hair underneath your tail so that it can just fall through like that and then you're going to have to take the rest of your hair from this half of your head and gather it into a ponytail at the root of your tail, if that makes sense. So usually what I like to do is I like to take the tail and kind of just like throw it in front of me and then I take the front piece and I gather it up first because you can't really brush it up because then you'll end up with the tail in it as well. So see my tail is kind of blending in with the rest of it, but oh well. So, I always get these pieces that want to stick out. So you kind of just, you pull it up, and then, hey, I lost my tail. Here's my tail. And now, I'm just going to use my chin to grab it. Wait a minute. Use the rest of your hair, and gather it up as well. It works easier if you use a, it's a standard hairbrush. I have a million elastics on my hand mine to help you brush it up so that it's nice and smooth when it's up. My mirror is over here and it's kind of awkward for me to talk into the camera and use my mirror at the same time so just don't mind me if I'm looking over here and talking to you at the same time. Okay so that's basically how you do it and then you take just a normal elastic, I bought these from the dollar store in case it matters to any of you guys and you gather it and you put make the ponytail up at the root of your little tail. And I could have made that tighter, but you guys understand. You'll get better at it the more you do it. I haven't done it very often, very much, rather. So, see? So now you have your little tail piece and this. And if you get a little floppy bit here, like I always get, the easy thing to do is to take a bobby pin. I use these tiny little bobby pins because I find that they're easier to hide, but you can use whatever size you want, and I just kind of clip it back as best as I can so you don't have to see it. See? Now it's flat and it's flatter and the tail is there. 
Now here's the part that kind of lets you do whatever you want. You could just, in theory, take your hair, twist it, wrap it around, and there, you have a little bun. But I like to be a little more intense than that, so I have a back combing brush. You could also just use a comb, or if you just have a brush, that works too, but I'm fancy, so I bought one of these. So you just take it and you hold it up. Don't mind how weird my arms are, I'm sorry. And you just kind of give her until you have this like nasty looking gross ponytail. And then, now that it's thicker, I like it better thicker because then it's more like her actual hair and less like just your hair. If you have little layers and whatnot that stick out like I do and it sucks, you can just fix it with bobby pins after, so don't get too hung up on it. And then you twist it, and you wrap it around. Why doesn't want to wrap well today? Huh. See what I mean about layers? Kind of is obnoxious. And then once you have it around as far as it'll go without being all strange, you take a bobby pin. I use I use huge bobby pins for this because I find that they hold better, but you just use whatever you have. You know, it's not really a big deal. And then you just kind of shove it in. And then you kind of you can just kind of pull on a little bun however you want to fix it. See, it's a little bit bigger than it was beforehand. And then if you get little like flyaway pieces that are sticking out awkwardly, like I have this, you can just fasten it with a bobby pin. It's not really that hard, I promise you. I've seen other tutorials on YouTube that are crazy and I'm like, I don't have extensions and I uh, don't have a crap load of hair. So that's kind of how I make it, and if I were going to be in it for a significant amount of time, if I were going to cosplay as her or something, I'd probably hairspray it, but I don't see a point right now. And then so you basically just do the same thing with the other side, but that's kind of boring if I show you how to do it with the other side, so with the magic of TV, there, both sides are done. So essentially, whichever side your bangs are on, obviously the other side's going to be a little harder because they're going to be less hair, but... You'll just get better at it in time. Sometimes you have to redo the tail on the other side a little more because you have more hair in it, but it, it'll really just be depending on your hair type and how you want them to look. Um, it's completely up to you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this enjoyed this tutorial on how to do Usagi's hair from Sailor Moon. Um, it's kind of hard to begin with, but if you work at it, it you'll like it. So, if you want to do this for, I don't know, Halloween or cosplay, or maybe you just want to go out in public like this, why not? I would. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. So don't forget to, you know, reblog it or like it or something. Or just come say hi. xosailormars.tumblr.com See ya!